Hi, second graders. Happy May Day. This is your math video today. And today we're going to be talking about multiplying by three and four and how to find those out. So let's get started. Here we go. All right. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to multiply by three. So I'm going to write a problem. I'm going to take one times three. Well, I think we've talked about this before. Remember that if you have one, anything times the one is always the same number. So I know that I have one group with three in them. So how many am I going to have? You're right. I'm going to have three. Let's try a different one. Let's try two times three. Okay. So two times three. I have two equal groups with three in them. So how many groups do I have? Two. And how many are in them? Three. So let's draw that. I have two groups with three in them. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So here, this represents I have two groups with three in them. So I have a two by three. So now I can count by twos to see what my answer is. Two, four, six. So two times three equals six. Very good. Let me erase these and we're going to do a three times three. Three times three equals, hmm, I see a pattern, but we'll keep going. We'll talk about that in a minute. How many groups do I have? Three equal groups with three. Okay, let's add those in. One, two, three. There's my first group. One, two two, three. There's my second group. One, two, three. There's my third group. So I have three by three or a three by three array. Now I can count them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I think you might be able to tell my pattern. Let's try one more. Three times four. What is three times four? Well, how many groups do I have? Three times four. I have three equal groups with four in them. So let's draw it. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. So I have three equal groups with four in them. So how many do I have? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So three times four is twelve. What do you notice? Three, six, nine, 12. What am I doing? I'm adding on three. Very good. So if I'm adding on three, I can use that. Three times five. Ooh, we know this one. We use the clock to find it. So add on three. 12, 13, 14. What's going to be my answer? 15. You're right. So three times six. What's three times six if I'm adding on three? 15. 16, 17, 18, good work. Three times seven, add on three. 18, 19, 20, 20, one, right? 18, 19, 20, 21, 19, 20, 21. So three times seven is 21. Three times A equals, add on three, 22, 23, 24. Very good. And three times nine equals, add on three, 25, 26, 27. Very good. So I want you to practice counting with me by threes. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, six, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Now go backwards. Ready? 27, 24, 21, 18, 15, 12, 
nine, six, three. Very good work. So there's your multiplying by threes fact. I want you to keep saying these over and over in your head. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Because that will help you. If you know how to count by threes, then you'll automatically know you can count up and you won't have to do the dots or the adding of those. All right, now let's practice our multiplying by fours facts. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, but with fours, how many groups am I gonna have this time? So let's start with four times one. Four times one. How many groups do I have? Four. And how many are in each group? One. There's one, two, three, four groups, and I have one in them. So, my friends, how many do I have? Four. You're right, because one times a number is always going to be that number. Okay, let's go to the next one. Four times two. How many groups do I have? Ooh, this one's tricky. How many groups do I have? Well, you can do it this way, or you can do it this way. I have four groups with four equal groups with how many in them? Two. So let's draw my four equal groups with two. There's one, two, three, and four. So how many do I have? Two, four, six, eight. Yes. Yes. And another way that you can do this is you can use repeated addition, kind of like what we did when we found all of the answers. Okay, four times three. Remember, how many equal groups do I have? Four, how many are in each group? Three, let's draw it out. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, and four. So now I can count by what? I have four groups, four equal groups with three in them. Three, six, nine, 12. What am I doing to my numbers? How did I get from four to eight? What did I add? You're right, I added four. How did I get from eight to 12? I added four. So let's see, let's use that strategy. If I wanna do, ooh, this is four times four equals if I start at 12 and I add four more, you're right, 16. Let's keep going. Four times five, you know this one, equals what? 20, very good. Four times six equals 24, good work. Four times seven. Okay, you're counting up by four. Or you could do four equal groups of seven. So I'm gonna have seven in my groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many do I have? Count them with me. One, two. Let's get down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Whoo, that took a lot of time. I think it's easier if I know and I count by fours. So 4 times 7 is 28. So then let's do 4 times 8. 4 times 8. Okay, 28 add on 4. 29, 30, 31, 32. And then let's do four times nine. Add on four, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Very good. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. Keep practicing those in your mind. And to do this today, I want you to play bingo. Multiplication bingo. Okay, and how that works is you write a fact down on your paper. So here's my bingo board. Hey, I'll just draw one real quick. And I'm B I N G O. Okay, and then I'm gonna go by five. One. 
I'm going to put a free in the middle. Always put your free. And I want you to write in your facts. Write four times one. And you can use your threes too. Three times one. Then I want you to put four times eight. Three times eight. And you would keep filling your boards out. Then what you would do is you would take all of your answers and you would write them on a sheet of paper. And you'd put those papers in a bowl. And what you do with that is you reach in, pick one out. So if I said the answer and I said 32, you would have to know, oh, I know four times eight is 32. So I would put a marker on my board right here over my, my four times eight. And I would try to see, can you fill up your bingo card? All right, friends, keep practicing those multiplication facts because when you go into third grade, it's really gonna help you and it's gonna make math a lot easier. So with that, friends, have fun playing the bingo, have fun practicing, and I'll see you next week. Bye.